There you go, Justin. I'm on. I'm good. Okay. Ready, hold boys? On, hold on. Yep, Ready. Yep, he's hold, moving. He's moving. Hold on. I'm going to wait until he stops. Hold on. I'm not on him. I'm on. I'm good. Get him. You on? Here we go. Welcome back to the beautiful and always satisfying great outdoors. Everybody, we got an awesome video for you today. We're going mule deer hunting in Colorado, something I've never done before. I've done some elk hunting up here in Colorado. I've always seen mule deer, always been interested in it. And I finally, I got an invite to go on a, on a hunt with my buddy Mulletman and Outlaw. So we're up here with those guys this week. And yeah, we got on some bucks. And speaking of bucks, bucks.com guys go to bucks.com check out some of the new lifestyle apparel the new drops uh, and save now on sales uh, the black friday extended sales we got about big time sales going on bucks.com use my promo code lfg save an extra 10 at checkout that sucker is linked down below bucks.com that's bucks b-u-x.com now this hunt is going to be a rifle hunt guys and i've got one i've got a rifle that i've been wanting to use for a couple years now since uh, I, I used it in the SIG Hunter games and it's the SIG Cross Rifle and it's it's in 6.5 Creedmoor which is not my favorite round and I know some of you may not love this round but I want to see what it will do on a mule deer when placed in the right spot if I can do that and it was my first time flying with a rifle I couldn't have asked for a better experience any of you that are curious I know probably traveling to other states. I want to show you how I packed my rifle case because I was told it was the best they had seen in a long time. Hard case. You got to have a hard case. This is a Pelican vault. So I have four lock holes. I have a lock on every single one of them and I got some master locks. These are not the TSA locks. They're standard master locks that I have one key for and I carried a spare as well. Went into the airport with it unlocked. Each airport was different, so I was able to um, go in and kind of show them myself. Other airports, they didn't want me to touch it. That whole thing is kind of different. But go with it, uh, unlock that way they can look at it or you can show them. And I've got a soft case inside of here. And I've also filled as much space as I can with things so nothing is rattling around. Over here I put my bino harness, you know, extra clothes, hats that could be filled. I put my kill kit in here with my knives and the ammunition, very important. The original box, that was approved everywhere. I flew American, so they preferred this, but anything that is going to hold the ammo where it doesn't move at all, doesn't rattle around. I did not go to the kiosk, I went straight to the service desk. You'll have to fill out a sheet of paper that says that your firearm is unloaded. And since this is a uh, bolt action rifle, I went ahead and I took the bolt out. Magazine is out, totally unloaded, am ammunition separate from the magazine. Kept my magazine and my little bipod right up here, up top. So everything's separated. I just made sure to fill as much space as I could, make sure nothing was going to move around, and of course, safety on. The soft case inside of the hard case, filling it up, ended up being about 37 pounds. So perfect weight to travel with, and it helped me save some room on traveling with my other luggage. So that is how I traveled with mine. Again, double check with each airline, but this, they definitely approved. So great travel experience with the rifle. I was a little paranoid about that to be honest but everything went great outlaw picked me up from the airport we drove into the mountains and we get a call from mullet man he said guys there's it's been tough we have not been seeing deer the last couple of days there are some decent bucks out in the fields you need to get here right now unload and get your tag and let's go and that's exactly what we did but we can't end the hunting video that quick guys we gotta spice this thing up a little bit you know what i'm saying get that watch time up so let me take you through the muck and the grind that happened on the second day trying to get Mullet Man a Mondo buck first.
It is a drizzly, miserable morning right now. It's not cold enough to snow. It's just cold enough to not be snow. So we're sliding around in the ATVs right now. Getting up into some spots where we can do some glassing. And it's Mike's turn today. It's Mike's turn. So basically just gonna be helping him spot and trying to get a big, big old muley out here in the sagebrush canyons. Ryan Inner doesn't make a new deer nipple hard. Outlaw. Yep. How you doing, guys? How you doing? Man, you're so you camoed know? up. I can't even see you. I know. You turn that ISO up. Nah, I like it dark. I like to set the mood in the morning. Cause yeah. it's, I don't know. We'll see if the big muleys want to play or not today. Doubt it. It would be nice just to have some dry weather. We could sit on a little glass and pad and yeah. just look and see yeah. those majestic monsters out there. Yeah, I know it's a little foggy as you can see behind us too. It's gonna to make it hard for glass and hopefully it blows over in the next hour or so. And uh, it's, look, it's it's snow. We're so high that it's starting oh, to it snow. Oh, it is starting to snow. Yep. Wow. We'll even get a little white blanket. A slush mix. We did come up high enough, higher in elevation, so it's gonna to start turning to snow at some point. <sighs> we out here, we out here in it. them pencil horns. Adventure update. Uh, we went into snow. Man, this ain't an adventure! Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> We're probably a thousand feet higher than we are now. Yeah, now it's turned oh, back to wet in your ears. slush. It is nasty. It's hard because I can't even get the camera up. Everything's just soaked. I didn't even think it was going to be raining up here. I didn't even bring rain here. <coughs> There are, there are deer everywhere. Everywhere I hear. Oh, that two point? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, this is a tall dude. He's like a two point. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, he's almost touching. Yeah. He's cool. He's like, don't get away from me. This buck right here, he's uh, split on his back. He's got two good brow tines. That's a pretty good buck. Wait, 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 wait. I think I just saw another buck. Uh, no, 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 no. He's coming back down. Behind the two-pointer? No, that was that was him. Okay. It looks like he's wearing a hat. They are everywhere right here. More coming out. Muleys. He's running hard right here. This is good. Find a big boy. How big are you looking for? <clears throat> 180 plus. 180 plus. A booner. A booner crocket. 180 the way Mike and I measure. <laughs> yeah, that's debatable.
round 14 out here with snow. We're in the lowlands, we've come back down, and deer are starting to move. Deer are definitely starting to move. We've got uh, a couple of bucks on the spotting scope. Um, seeing a lot of does, but we're seeing them low, which is good. They're starting to come out. Seeing a lot of like 130, 140 inch bucks looking for that old Roman nose big boy you got a couple deer yeah way up top oh up top yeah I got two does and they're looking back towards the Juni they're definitely playing hard to get today we're gonna give them another look with the scope Finally stopped raining, y'all. Crap. He's got a collar on? He's got a collar. It looks like a freaking cowbell. Dang. That's Fido. Hmm? That's old Fido. Got his collar on. Look at all the hunters oh, right there. Yeah, right there's another there. another hunter. All in the, uh, they're side by side right there. See all the orange? Uh, yeah. They're looking at him right now. Yep. Orange vests looking at the same deer. It's the way she blows. You guys can't see this far. Just noticed some other hunters looking at the same deer. Dude, serious rutting going on. Dude, I could sneak up on him and shoot him with the cell phone. Look at him sniffing right now. Full sneak sniff right now. Got to love it. Getting closer. So the day ended with no deer bucks and was probably one of the colder, wetter days I've spent in the outdoors. Woke up in the morning, it was kind of, I mean, it wasn't cold. It was like in the in the 40s. It was just a little bit of drizzle and I was like, I don't know if I want to bring my thermals and all this stuff. I wanted to pack light. Didn't and paid for it the rest of the day. Got absolutely soaked. It just one of those chill to the bone, wet, colds that just never leaves you but what happened next was just absolutely what were you doing back here are you drinking blantons this early in the morning yeah, yeah. so what happens next it never happens as you go out there and everything is right with the world weather beautiful bucks are sniffing everywhere and it goes down with a double me and mike's dad so check this out Just got in an hour ago, got the tag, and we're spotting deer already. Yeah, that's him. You got him, you got him senior? Yeah. Yep, I got him here. Come, come just All right. Well, man, what are you seeing? Uh, I see a nice back. Oh, yeah. I actually glassed this deer up this morning knowing that Justin was looking for any good mature buck. He's never shot a mule deer before. Never shot a mule deer before, and this is a great four by four. It's an awesome deer. He's probably like one high 150s, 160s. Yeah, what's up with that? What's up with what? This is back. Yeah, he's crap. But look at his face. Come here, Justin. Look at this. He's old, or he's mature. Yes. <laughs> he's a good one. Without a doubt, dude. Oh, oh, dude, I'm all about it. He's got that tail flick. He's feeling confident right now. He's got a couple does around. I'm feeling good. He got my bros around. Let's go get it done. Let's make a stock, boys. Yeah. 
two more bucks spotted, one bigger. Got Mike's dad, Mike Sr. here. And I think me and him are going to try to double down, possibly, on these two bucks that are out in this field. Really nice bucks. I'm not picky at all. So just got to figure out how to make a little stock, a little closer. They're like 600 yards right now. It's a little, a little poke. All right, seniors going in to make a stock. There's a mule deer up in there, that little pasture. Finally, six days. Golly, that is a mondo. Man. Good job. Heck yeah. about 300, we're getting a little bit closer. All right, head down. Make sure I'm on him. 241. Make sure you're recording. Hold on. I gotta find him too. Those suckers. There he is. And make sure it's him. So Alright, he's facing away from me right now. So. Yeah, he's facing away from me. <clears throat> tell me when he turns broadside. Or tell me when you're about to shoot them. I'm not on him anymore, so hold on. He's moving. Hold on, let me reposition, because... You recording? Yep. Hold on, I'm not. Mike's not. I'll just go behind that cedar. You got him? Yeah, but he's behind the cedar tree. Okay. Just double check the range. He's still at 245. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's a good buck. He's super wide. All right, guys, we got this buck. He's about 250 yards. He's behind a little cedar right now. I'm just waiting for him to step out. He's kind of quartering away. Time we got left for light for video. We're good. No, I know, just time to. He's not laying down, is he? No. Yeah. Okay. 
about to start broadside for you. <clears throat> That trigger so slow. I'm so zoomed in on you. Wait, Justin. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till he turns. Are you good right there? Good right here. Huh? Do you like that shot? Not really. Wait till he steps over one more step. Come on, baby, turn. Stop. Hold on, I'm not on him. I'm on him good. Get him. You on? Here we go. Smoked him. Yeah, right he ran right, but I lost him. He's up and over. He's he went up and over? Here. I know I hit him good. Oh, you smoked him. Uh, oh, he's down. He's down up on he's top. Down. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, boys. Yeah. <laughs> That's two, two bucks in 20 minutes, dude. <laughs> Yeah, man. Good shot. Beautiful buck, yes. dude. Yeah. Beautiful white face. <sighs> Mike's got, Mike was filming this on his spotting scope. We can see, really I'm see it good. good. Him, oh, gosh. Smoked, smoked him. Did not put him down with the Creedmoor, though. Hey, he's down. I mean, yeah. he's down. Oh, oh, he dropped. Really dropped. Is he down? Is he down? My first, my first mule deer, guys. Oh my gosh, man! Literally got off the airplane. Jared picked me up. Just came out here. Got it done the first evening. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. down. Let's go look at the other one. My buck. My first ever mule deer buck, guys. First muley buck. Got a good spread. First Colorado deer. Wow. Dude, this is a big old deer. Look at the head on that. He's old. Yeah, man. He's a corn old buck. Dude, mature buck. White face. That is awesome. Awesome. Absolutely drilled him, too. Dude, he stinks. He's got that, that rut must on him. I love it. Yeah, I know. I normally s sniff the fish. I'm not going to sniff him, though. <laughs> sniff his tarsal. Dude, that is awesome. Let's tag so him and bag cool. him, baby. Tag him and bag him. Two down in one night. Let's go. Dude, he's huge. Look at that neck, dude. He looks so like short and squatty neck. That's an old boy. What's Dex here in the rack? How old do you think that buck is, man? Six or seven years old? Nah, he ain't uh, he's worn down. Dude, yeah. Look at his neck. Yeah. And 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my first mule deer hunt ever. And hey, you know what? That 6.5 did a pretty good job. It didn't drop, didn't drop the, that mule deer buck like I, uh, I was hoping. I was actually aiming a little bit higher on the shoulder, trying to get that high shoulder shot. shot. Usually, uh, you know, it just drops them with my 308 and other calibers, but did not go far, did not go far. So take that for what you will, guys. Take that for what you will. 6.5 still get her done on the old mule deer. And it's always awesome to just get a big mature animal. Gonna get a ton of meat off this guy. You know, it was it was a good time to take him. He was in his prime, great time to take that animal. And I wanna come do this again. Mule deer in the rut is awesome. Whitetail, uh, whitetail in the rut is, is really amazing. I still, I think whitetail bow hunting is, is, that's it for me. That's like the thing I enjoy the most. This right here though, uh, hunting with a, with a party, a group, everybody's glassing, trying to find that, that next buck that's gonna come out. It was, it was a really awesome experience. So, I, and I love the wide open spaces of Colorado and the mountains, you can't, can't beat the view. So thank you guys for watching my first mule deer hunt ever. Don't forget to visit bucks.com, use that promo code LFG, link down in the description. Subscribe to the channel for more outdoor action. Smash that like button. And I'll see you guys back in the great outdoors.